I'm Anthony and I'm doing the 2024 Bulls Bowl Half Marathon. Beautiful Saturday morning here in Venice, California. I'm here on Abbott Kinney in front of the Gooder Cabana where I am going to be hanging out with a run club called Hard Knocks Running Club. They are doing a meetup here. They're going to do like a three, six, or nine mile run. I'm probably just going to do a three mile run because of tomorrow's Lowell's Boy Half Marathon. So I'm excited to hang out with this group, get to know them, see some other running friends here on a Saturday morning, a nice little shakeout run, and then we're going to head over and pick up my bib for the Lowell's Bowl Half Marathon, which is tomorrow. Uh, the weather is supposed to be cloudy. Hopefully it won't rain, but either way, it's gonna be a great time. So let's go. Well, it's raining. The uh, meetup was awesome. We had so much fun. We had no rain at that point, but now it is during a uh, big pickup. Um, hopefully, it doesn't do this tomorrow, but if it does, oh well, it is what it is. A little water ain't gonna hurt nobody, right? I made it here it is Sunday morning no rain perfect weather so far I'm uh, hanging out for a bit and I'm gonna go inside the locker room and then take pictures and do all that kind of stuff and then time to start the race I'm hoping to get a better time than last year I think my time last year was 211 so if I could beat that or even get a sub 2 that'd be awesome but finishing is always the number one thing and having fun and but if I can get beat last year's time that'd be even better but perfect weather so far so let's go. So I say this in every video, but this is the uh, Rose Bowl locker room. This is where the UCLA football team hangs out during the football season. And if you're an LA road runner, you actually get to be in here before the half marathon. It's warm, there's bathrooms, there's lockers. It is awesome. So I highly recommend once again to join LA road runners to get this perk.
my own one unofficial time 10.06. I want to introduce you guys to my pace leaders today. <laughs> These are the 215 leaders uh -huh. for the day. Yeah. Mile two, unofficial time 10.22. Yeah. All right, we're out of the neighborhood. Now we're in downtown Pasadena, where a lot of the cheer groups are. And we're going downhill. So this is about two, two and three quarter miles into the race. Yeah. Right, from this point, the crowd support is fantastic. Mile three. Almost to a 5k. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, 5k, 15 group didn't pan out. I got excited for the run groups and I'm way ahead of them, so we'll see how I finish. All right, mile five, unofficial time 838. Again, way ahead of my schedule. Oh well, still having fun. <laughs> Chipotle, favorite spot. Hey guys! So I saw the 205 pace group pass me. We'll see if I can catch up to him. Thank you. Mile seven, unofficial time, 9.15. The last day station, really. Slow me down. Go, hey! <laughs> Mile eight, unofficial time, 8.31. I can't believe it. I caught up to the 205 group. Probably has any of the uncles back there. And last big hill. And then turn around. And then after that, it's nothing but rolling hills after that. Smith, small ones. So once you get past the freeway, you're gonna go up this hill, turn around, and then smooth sailing from there. Hopefully. 15K, 127.14. Mile 10, unofficial time, 8.41. 5K to go. All right, I see the Rose Bowl. Just gotta do a loop around that, and we're done. Still feeling okay. Thank you! Hey guys! Thank you. Mile 
about 11. Let's go, baby. 11 official time, 8.58. What's up, man? What's going on, man? You good? Mile 12, unofficial time, 8.48. Just might get us up to. We'll see. Mind over matter. What a fantastic day. Just finished up with the kids run, volunteering for them. That's always a lot of fun. Uh, but then the main story of this video is the, is my time at the half marathon. I was not expecting this at all, folks. I was expecting 215, 210 maybe at the most. And I ended up getting a one, I think 159.37, something like that. Oh my gosh. Sub two. I haven't had that in, in a couple years. So wow really blown away by that and i really think it's because of the support on the crowd and of the of, on the, the on course support the running clubs the volunteers the energy was just phenomenal and it really i mean it's not smart um i should learn to hold myself back but i just had so much fun with that that i just my feet were moving i said okay let's do it let's see how this goes and i just stuck with it but uh probably you shouldn't do this in a marathon but for a half marathon okay i have a little bit more leeway uh yeah so a fantastic day um, there's a 5k there's a half marathon there's a kids run as you saw so no matter what fitness level you are or if you just want to see your kid run it's just a, a great family friendly event highly recommend it um, man I can't say enough good things about this event so thank you for watching if you watch up to this point I appreciate it um, please hit the subscribe button be part of the community hit that like button leave a comment below let me know if you're here and how your experience was I want to hear all about it and uh, yeah, I hope to see you at the next ones at the LA Marathon. It's in March, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day. There is a discount code in the description below or at least email me and I will send you a discount code. Uh, but yeah, fantastic day. Oh my gosh, I'm just over the moon excited about that. But time to go home and relax. I'm Anthony reminding you to keep running for your best life. So the Rosewood Half Marathon, as you see, is a fantastic race. It has a 5K, it has a half marathon, it also has a kids run, as you saw. So uh, no matter what fitness level you are, this is a great race for you. Anyways, if you're new here, please consider subscribing. I'd appreciate the support. Um, hit the like button, leave a comment below, let me know how your day went if you were here. Or if you have any questions, leave it in the comments below and hopefully I can answer them for you. Anyways, 